in this video I will install a remote start to my 2017 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Uh, the remote start set is a uh, Compute Start DC3 and uh, T harness is a TL7 because my vehicle is a uh, push to start. If we uh, if the vehicle's uh, the key start, uh, you need a TL5. Um, also, I set the Prime 901 uh, uh, key for. Uh, this is a DC3 remote control. Uh, before I install, I will check the firmware. Uh, it preloaded, but I think I better check by myself. Uh, I bought a forty dollars. I bought a, a Weblink uh, ADS USB adapter. Uh, let's uh, plug in here and the other side. Plug into the computer. Then go to the user uh, IE. It only support IE. Uh, go to the website and uh, log in. It, uh, then I, s I select. It's all uh, the firmware is correct, but I can check uh, if uh, there is uh, any update. Okay, there is a version 3.2. That's the version 3.1. Anyway, I can confirm selection. Update the firmware. If no, if not preloaded, you can uh, select the or in, uh, input. The, uh, vehicle information. They then they they will find the right firmware for your vehicle. Hundred percent. I finish. Firmware update complete. I turn off. Um, now I can go outside to install. First, uh, first thing I think I install is uh, the the T harness. After T harness installed, then or understand. I'm going to install TL7 uh, T harness first. Uh, all I need, look, need to do is open this up, and uh, to open this one, I turn the. This was, there are two screws. One is here. Then rotate here. You can you can see another one here. Remove those two screws. Then I can open the cup. Uh, T harness uh, first. That's uh, seven pin connect. Okay, right, right this one, right here. Uh, pull this out. Yeah, that's the seven pin. Okay, this is a third pin connector. Connect to here, right here. The second one here, the first one, right? Second one here. I need to pull this out and the third pin. Okay. I have to plug in the T harness. This, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this is the T harness I plug in. And uh, this side, 
the red connected connect to the first uh, tea harness. Uh, I will open this up. See how this uh, come to here. So this is uh, plugging to the DC3 box, and uh, I am going to put the, the DC3 bo box right in this area. So T harness uh, connection is pretty easy. Just follow the instruction, and uh, only one wire. This wire. This blue wire connect to the push to stop button, uh, pin number one. Uh, it's very hard to do that because uh, if I need connect, I have to remove the head unit. So I call the technical support, uh, ask them if they, there is some other, other place I can connect either way. But they told me actually I don't need this uh, wire. No one actually connect this. So no one actually do that. So I think I'm finished. I just uh, ignore this uh, wire. This is the antenna. I, I will run the wire through. Uh, I don't go, I don't go the A pillar. Because the A pillar there is a airbag there. It's so not a good idea to, I just uh, go all the way up, up here. Cable is too long, I'll just tie it up. I'll put it in here. I'll wait until. This is uh, the hot switch. It'll come with the FT DC3 for the protection. When when the hood open, it 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 disable the uh, remote start. But this uh, looks uh, ugly. It's for somewhere. I have to make a bracket, maybe. So instead, instead of using the hot switch, I bought a ball bearing uh, tooth switch. Tooth switch. So. Pull this uh, tooth switch in here. Open this up. There's there are six. This is the clipper. Yeah. Only I remove the installation pad. The clipper. Like that one. This is the clipper. See?
I use a meter to test. It should, should be open now. Yeah, it's open, right? Uh, open that. The computer switch has installed. Now it's time to run the ISO 5 wall. Uh, I select run 5 wall uh, from the passenger side because you see this uh, uh, the groove here, the big one. That's easier to do because in the pa uh, drive side, I even cannot see it. So this time I run two wires through. Uh, one of the black one for the tooth switch, another green one, green one for alarm uh, siren in case uh, I will uh, install the alarm system later. I I'm not sure, but uh, uh, I will run the wires through this time. So next time I See it? It's going. Okay, good. Push them all. Push them all. Was here, and uh, let me pull more out so make this is long enough. It's long enough to cross that side. I think that's long enough. Four more. Okay.
a flexible tubing the wire connected. Oops. To the switch installed. Now I need to go inside. This green color is for serum, future serum, and the black is the to the switch. I use a extendable sleeve here, sleeve. So now bring the wire through here to the drive side. Uh, I have a run the wire through uh, here go to the drive side. In drive side, I, uh, here I'm going to install a push switch. Uh, when the switch is pushing, it will disable the uh, remote. Okay. Okay. First. Because the vehicle is a auto transmission, so I need to cut this loop off. Cut the loop off. All hook up. Uh, I will put this uh, DC3 in here, um, this uh, 3M tape, after finish, let me see, I can put it in, the DC3 is here now, uh, I have done the three test uh, programs, one uh, uh, device program and a tech program and a remote, uh, key fob program. Uh, these programs are just follow the instruction, so it's really easy. Now we I can test before test I show here. I add a switch here. When I push the switch this way, uh, that's what will disable the uh, remote start. The same as a hot uh, open this adding this uh, switch just for the uh, safety purpose in case uh, if I walk under the uh, car so I need push this button to in, uh, disable the remote start remote start installation finished I do some test first unlock lock Press the key key button to remote start. Press again to shut it off. This is the this is the. OEM key fob. Push the lock button three times to remote start. Okay. 
works. Push it three more times to shut it off. Okay. Uh, open the door. This uh, push this button to open the trunk. Now open the hood. Remote start the vehicle. It's some supposed cannot start. It has an air code number six. That's ring hot start. Uh, hot uh, open. One more test. <laughs> when I push this button, it's same as a hot open. So it should not. It should not remove start the vehicle. Let me try that. Remove start push here. It's the same same here. Air number six. That shows uh, uh, the hot open. That works. Uh, installation is uh, finished. Uh, actually, I think it's uh, pretty easy. Uh, most uh, difficult part is uh, uh, install the tutor switch. It took, took me more time. Okay. Hope you guys uh, like this video. Thank you for watching.